Hello, today's devotional can be found in Luke chapter 17, verse 33. Whosoever shall seek to save his life shall lose it, and whosoever shall lose his life shall preserve it. Okay, so if we care more about mortality than we do about eternity, we're going to end up losing the best eternity we could. And throughout history, people have sought to make decisions that show that they care more about what is in front of them and what they can see than what is beyond their life and what they can't see and understand because simply because the opportunity to make choices is right in front of them. They may be foolish with their choices, but people can repent from foolishness if they so choose. But if they don't choose to repent and if they dig themselves deeper, it will be harder. Some have pursued mortal pursuits and mortal carnal desires that have resulted in them losing their eternal blessings, even with repentance. And sometimes that can happen. I mean, even with the atonement, sometimes there are blessings you lose that you cannot get back. I mean, it makes things right, yes, but there has to be consequences for choices, and sometimes consequences for choices have to be that, even with the atonement. The atonement takes the sin and the burden away, but it can, it sometimes can't get your lost blessings back. But Heavenly Father still loves you, and maybe you can earn yourself new blessings. But they probably won't be as great as the ones you lost. Because some blessings, once you lose them, gone. But if, if we seek to spend our mortality doing good and living well and utilizing the atonement to get through each and every day, if we lose ourselves in the service of our God, if we lose ourselves in doing good, we are preserving not only our mortal life by making good choices, but also also our eternal rewards but if we're going to be foolish and take the carnal route we can expect to lose some blessings because choices do have consequences it is so much easier sometimes to take the carnal route than take a route that we don't quite understand it's not right but it's sometimes easier so people do it but they find later that they were wrong. And they think they can't go back. Well, you can't go back. You can't reverse time, but you can repent from where you are. And start fresh through the atonement of Jesus Christ. For Christ died for the sins of the world. So that we wouldn't have to hang on to our sins. So that we could be free from them. Isn't that wonderful? And we can lose ourselves in helping others and doing good and living well. That not only will our mortal life be better, for we are making better choices, but then we'll have wonderful eternal blessings to look forward to. But it is our, it is our choice. Satan, Satan sought to save the life of all those in the premortal existence by taking away their agency and making them come back should he be the executor of the atonement and he wanted to give the glory to himself and so he lost his chance at mortality but Christ he lost his life in the service and in the saving of all the world by giving them their agency and allowing them to cover the atonement as they would. And he preserved his eternal life even though he lost his mortal life. I mean, granted, we won't have to die for each other probably, but let's be like the Savior losing our lives to do good and live well. For the atonement has made us free to do so. It has made us free to let go of our sins and choose for ourselves and not be bound by the fact that we're natural carnal men. We can be better than that because of the atonement. We can remember that we're children of God and live up to that, 
each and every day. We're not going to get there in an instant, but we can work on it each and every day. From where we are, we don't, we can't go back, but we can begin where we are and do better each and every day, thanks to that atonement. Heavenly Father and Christ love us very much. And they want to preserve us. <coughs> but we have to want to choose it. And with that said, I love you all so very much. And I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Ugh.